Do you know the early symptoms and side effects of HIV in men? First, a fever is one of the most well-known side effects. A fever is not just an increase in body temperature. Rather, it is the body's defense system responding to trespassers, like the HIV infection. It usually shows up within two to three weeks of being exposed to the virus. It is normal for this fever to be accompanied by other symptoms that are similar to influenza, like a runny or swollen. The reason for this fever is your body's safe structure trying to avoid the contamination. It's essentially a characteristic watchfulness hailing that something isn't precisely right. Remember, a fever in itself is surely not a definitive sign of HIV. Yet if you've had a persevering fever that you can't figure out, it might be your body implying a more significant issue. In case you experience an eager fever that you can't lane, it might be a sign that something isn't right. The subsequent secondary effect we will look at is broadened lymph center points. These little bean-shaped organs are essential to our body's defense system. They are distributed throughout the body, primarily in the neck, armpit, and crotch regions. When they are healthy and functioning normally, we barely notice them, but when they grow, they can feel like delicate rubbery bumps under the skin. You might be wondering why lymph hubs grow. Well, they are essential to our immune system, and their primary function is to channel harmful substances and fight infections. When an individual has HIV, the infection directly attacks the safe framework by extending as they endeavor to kill the contamination. Lymph center points really should can moreover broaden considering various illnesses. In any case, if the growing go on for a broad stretch without an obvious explanation, it might be a sign of HIV. So unexplained expanding of lymph centers over a postponed period can be a sign of HIV. The third secondary effect is a skin rash. Rashes are extremely typical during the starting periods of HIV tainting. They habitually appear as a level red fix with minimal raised thumps. Not at all like various rashes you may have experienced, this one is by and large not bothered. The rash can show up wherever, yet it typically shows up on the face or the center. By and by, it's crucial to observe that not all rashes are normal for HIV. Numerous conditions, from aversion to various defilements, can cause skin rashes. In any case, if you have a rash that doesn't vanish or is joined by various secondary effects we've referred to, it's fitting to search for clinical thought. The rash related with HIV is the body's reaction to a viral illness. It's your protected structure try to remove the new substance. So review, an unexplained rash might be something past an overly sensitive reaction. The fourth secondary effect to note is muscle and joint torture. By and by, it's not unexpected to have a pounding, excruciating quality following a tedious day's work or a serious rec focus meeting. Yet with HIV, the situation is a cycle different. The desolation isn't just about depleted muscles or a sprained lower leg. Rather, it's a response of your body to the contamination. When the HIV disease enters your body, it sets off your safe structure. The protected system in its fight against the contamination releases engineered substances that energize your muscles and joints provoking torture. This can be an energetic bothering disquiet, not in any way, shape, or form like the commonplace depletion or strain you could feel after genuine exertion. It's crucial to focus on your body, assuming that you're experiencing unexplained steady muscle or joint torture. It might be some different option from the result of a requesting day. Constant unexplained muscle or joint torture should not be ignored. The last secondary effect we will look at is night sweats. Now, when we say night sweats, we're not examining an intermittent perspiration that happens on a warm, lovely dreams. Sweats associated with HIV are outrageous blistering blasts that occur during rest, leaving you drenched and sweet, no matter what the room temperature. 
you might be inquiring as to why this happens. Well, night sweet are your body's response to illnesses, and by virtue of HIV, the diseases setting off this reaction. Your body is endeavoring to avert the contamination, and this battle raises your internal intensity level, achieving these unprecedented episodes of sweating around nighttime. But remember, night sweats alone don't certify HIV. They can be achieved by various conditions too, like menopause or specific sorts of sickness. At any rate, if you're experiencing night sweats close by a part of various incidental effects we've inspected, it's wise to get checked. Experiencing night sweats with not a great reason could be a sign of HIV. Review, early area, and therapy can make a huge difference.